Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Thanks to our invisible enemy called COVID, the anxiety and stress levels of most Americans are at an all-time high, I would guess. Even during periods of war, actual combat always occurred somewhere else, on other shores, in other lands. But this war is different. It's up close and it's personal. Most Americans are either working from home or have lost their jobs and find themselves stuck indoors much of the time. Our mood darkens as the death toll rises. However, science has a mental booster for us, and it's the simplest and sweetest of remedies. Flowers. Having flowers around the house, especially close to where you do your work, has benefits for your brain. If you're like me, you're probably thinking, well, duh. Of course we know we feel better when we have flowers around. That's just common sense. But it's even more profound than I thought. The positive psychology of flowers is real. An online florist company in Great Britain recently put that notion to the test. The company, called Bloom and Wild, sent flowers to 17 people who wear Fitbit smartwatches and wristbands to monitor their heart rates. The test subjects were asked to describe their feelings before the flowers arrived, and most predictably said they were feeling anxious about the pandemic. Each individual was given a flower-arranging task to do, Then they were instructed to once again describe how they felt. 90% said that focusing on something creative helped reduce their stress levels. Two-thirds said they felt especially focused when arranging flowers, and more than half said they felt totally relaxed during the task. Admittedly, the Bloom and Wild experiment is anything but scientific. It involved too small a sample size. But it's still impressive that the participants reported that 30 minutes of flower arranging lowered their heart rates by an average of seven beats a minute. A researcher at the University of Central Lancashire in the UK notes that when we are stressed, our body releases a stress hormone called cortisol. But when we smell flowers and interact with them, our cortisol levels recede and we feel more relaxed. Scientists know that flowers stimulate several chemicals in our brain, specifically dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin, the so-called happy chemicals. The result? It's almost impossible to feel sad when looking at a bouquet of beautiful flowers. It's true, I've never known a florist who wasn't happy in his work. Okay, so science has underscored what we already knew. So what are the best flowers we can surround ourselves with to derive maximum relief from stress and anxiety? How about roses at the top of the list? No shocker there. There's a good reason when we are stressed out that we are told to stop and smell the roses. That's because roses produce mood-boosting endorphins. Many studies have affirmed the physiological and psychological effects of roses. Peonies and sunflowers are considered mood boosters too. The color of flowers also is significant. Red and yellow flowers energize us. Blue and white flowers calm us. Who cares? I like them all. They say that April showers produce May flowers. Given the boost they provide to our morale, that's never been more important than right now. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.